You now need to construct a circle and then draw a triangle containing the centre and label that triangle A, B and C with the side lengths of A, B and C. But do this in your exercise book. It does not need to be a big diagram. But if you make it as large as your page, then it's much easier for you to read later. What was the title today? Cats already drawn in the radii. The next thing you're going to do is draw in the radii, and then we're going to mark or identify the three angles at the centre. So, to help me, I'm going to draw the radii in a different colour. We do X and Z. No, we don't need X and Z. Because this big triangle here, that is angle big A. So this must be angle twice big A. And this is angle, up here is angle big B. So this must be angle... Twice big B. You can finish that. <laughs> the next thing you need to do is to divide each isosceles triangle in half. Now you do that by dropping the perpendicular bisectal. Okay? So each triangle needs to be cut in half by drawing the perpendicular bisectal. Each of these half isosceles triangles have a right angle in. So you've made six right angled triangles. If you take one of these right angled triangles, and this one here is that one up there, then you can identify a number of facts about that triangle. This red line is the radius, so I can write R on that. This black side, well it's half of the full side, which is A, so this must be just half A. <coughs> and this was a big angle of two A's, and you've cut it in half. So it's just A. Now this enables you to work out the sine of that angle. The sine is equal to, well can you remind me?